Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Trading Secrets, this channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who don't know, my name is Ali, I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. Through this channel I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is try to get 201 trades, each with an average return of 3.5%. It's not 201 consecutive trades, we do take into account losses. So for further details about how to join us for less than $9 a month, information is available in the description below. In today's video, we're going to be looking at legal and Congress updates for MMTLP. We're also going to be looking at ticker symbol AXLA. So stay tuned for that. Before we get started, let's have a look at what's happening in the market. So first headline here, the stock market today index is out on track for weekly losses. Apple stock rises after tech giant sheds nearly $190 billion in market value in two days. So we have uh, seen uh, Apple trending downwards, especially after the news in China. But today stocks were mixed in the afternoon uh, with regards to trading. Uh, and uh, there was uh, some improvement in tech shares. Uh, in, with regards to oil, we can see here oil futures end higher for the session, contributing to a gain for the week. So uh, oil is uh, significantly going up. It's getting closer and closer to two, uh, $90 per barrel. Uh, and we're looking at about 2% uh, weekly gain so far. So um, good news for the shares with regard to oil. I'm going to start by giving a shout out here to Pocahontas who uh, posted earlier today that SEC and FINRA have been stonewalled in Congress regarding the MMTLP fiasco long enough. It's time for Congress to make uh, sure regulators are actually doing their jobs. Please subpoena an audited aggregate share count of MMTLP. We have in excess of 65,000 plus shareholders who have had their assets frozen for more than nine months. Uh, so uh, in terms of the recent meeting between Congress and the, and the SEC and FINRA, I think um, the general feedback was that the SEC and FINRA certainly seem to be working together and have not been forthcoming providing information that members of Congress did ask for. So the fight with Congress continues. Uh, and what I'm now going to do is give a shout out here to Quintainment uh, and uh, the post here, MMTLP fighting for you all so again we have we have had a visit there to dc so this was uh, details of this were shared in the space earlier today so i'm just going to summarize what was said so the feedback from quintainment in the space earlier today was that they did visit a number of offices and these included republican and democrat offices uh, and a number of them were aware of the mmtlp situation a number of them were not aware of the mmtlp situation so they did speak to some of the staffers uh, and they did hit i think uh, close to 10 offices today so in terms of uh, one of the key areas uh, or should we say the key people they did get uh, into contact with with regard to one of the staffers was Maxine Walters so if we have a look at Maxine what sorry Maxine Waters here she she's a Republican uh, and it states on the profile here proudly serving the people of California's 43rd district in Congress uh, and also a member of the House Financial Services Committee so again somebody with um, a little bit of a clout we should say and uh, it was reported back in the space that she apparently is aware of the MMTLP situation so if anybody does have the ear of Maxine Waters uh, again uh, hopefully we can give her a reminder in terms of uh, hopefully adding a name onto the 15 and also adding on more information in terms of requesting that Congress and the SEC provide us with that share count and uh, another update in the space from Don Fiss who said they are obviously in terms of progress they obviously um, Congress currently in terms of the meeting are not happy uh, the reactions from Congress have been positive but obviously the information provided from the SEC and FINRA have not been fruitful uh, so again the campaign continues the next post I'd like to share with you is from Don, who posted earlier today with regard to what has happened uh, in the community in terms of the spaces. So she has tagged in X support or should we say previous uh, Twitter support and uh, stated here that the past weekend, a group of members of the MMTLP community did a marathon space, uh, tagging in Elon Musk to join them in the uh, spaces. So uh, the reason for this was to thank Elon Musk. The campaign obviously was very res respectful and it was done with good intentions. Unfortunately, this has led to a number of people uh, who have been um, suspended from uh, X, or should you say Twitter, for apparently misusing the 
features uh, specified in the terms and conditions. So that's what's happened. And some of the users may have uh, had very important posts with which we may need for the campaign with regard to Congress. So I know there are divisions in the community, uh, but I think uh, Dawn does raise a good point here in terms of our campaign with Congress. Uh, it, it is important that the, the people can get access to their accounts, especially if information held in these accounts uh, is useful for a campaign with um, Congress. So uh, let's hope uh, there is positive news here as well. And in terms of a legal update and a reminder, shout out here to Rosa who stated it is true and another great idea to ask for a resolution. She has tagged in Mark Basile. Again, another controversial figure, but what she stated here, I know many people may not agree, but we don't have to agree uh, on what the end result is right now. But what we have to look at is obviously information shared by the people. So what uh, Mark did post on September the 7th, 2023, that obviously many people are focused on the resolution with regard to two days of trading via Congress. So yes, uh, that is uh, one potential option for the community. But what he is saying is that there is another way as well. So, uh, and this may have been lost in the fight. So obviously he's talking about securities laws and in his post, he was also talking about uh, other options with regard to this and who else has the power to enforce the state securities laws. So uh, what he did post is we're looking at um, state attorney generals, local district or, or state attorney offices. Uh, so it could be something to consider in terms of co contacting these as well. Uh, and the reason why this information is shared is these also have the power uh, to get the two days of trading. I finally like to finish off by having a look at tick symbol AXLA. So shout out to the Discord here. And one of the members did post that I got into AXLA at 33 cents after it was shared exclusively with the Discord members in our weekly watch list. And uh, if, you, if you look at the chart here at time of editing in the Discord, it was trading at 85 cents and uh, the member did invest at 33 cents. But if we have a look at the chart, again, very close to the end of market, it's now close to 92 cents, so approaching uh, close to a dollar. Uh, so again, we're looking at uh, close to a 200% return if the member has still held. Uh, and uh, obviously in terms of the news, there was a patent grant that was secured. So this was shared in our weekly watch list in the Discord and uh, obviously shared on Yahoo Finance with the link. And we can see here Axella. Uh, is was up on a patent grant for low long COVID fatigue drugs. So obviously the company secured a method of use patent for the US Patent and Trademark Office for its lead pipeline candidates. And the patent has been granted for treating patients having fatigue associated with post-acute COVID-19, also known as long uh, COVID. Uh, and the patient patent was issued on the 29th of August, 2023 and scheduled to expire on 2042 so again great news for the company and again congratulations to everybody who got into axla so if you would like to get our next copy of the weekly watch list which will be shared prior to trading on the monday details are in the description below thank you very much for watching please stay tuned